embark on a journey through the sands of ancient Egypt with a classic movie from 1955. Explore the mysteries of pyramids, the power of pharaohs, and the allure of hidden treasures. Dive into a world filled with surprises, humor, and moments of sorrow. Discover what makes this timeless film a symbol of cinematic greatness. From its captivating storyline to its impressive sets, there's something about it that keeps audiences captivated even today. Do you have any fond memories or personal anecdotes related to this iconic piece of cinema? Share your thoughts and experiences with us in the comments below. Let's celebrate the magic of ancient Egypt together. So sit back, relax, and let the wonders of ancient Egypt unfold before you. There's plenty to enjoy in this journey through time. In the world of classic cinema, there's a film often labeled as campy, suggesting an exaggerated and humorous tone. However, it's crucial to dispel this notion, as the movie, crafted by a seasoned director, is anything but campy. The deliberate framing of scenes as set pieces, coupled with minimal camera movement, showcases a distinct cinematic approach. A veteran stage actor and Shakespearean performer lend a commanding voice to the central character. Despite some criticisms, such as the absence of ethnically appropriate casting, a product of its 1955 era, the film stands as a testament to cinematic standards. The lead actor's physical appearance may have raised eyebrows, with arms described as thin and flabby, yet the focus on vocal prowess is evident, aligning with the background as a Shakespearean actor. A scheming character adds a layer of intrigue to the narrative. Her memorable performance, especially in a particular scene, remains etched in memory. The juxtaposition of on-location set pieces, expansive crowd sands, matte paintings, costumes, and a captivating score all contribute to the film's appeal. Revisiting the movie in recent times, the impact of the music accompanied by a choir continues to evoke chills. The grandiosity of scenes, particularly a triumphant return from war, draws favorable comparisons to cinematic spectacles. Fast open spaces, absent of cramped sets, amplify the grandeur of the thousands of extras. The resonance of the film extends beyond its initial release. A personal connection is noted as the movie holds the distinction of being one of the first to grace black and white television screens in the 1950s and 1960s. The infectious chorus of a memorable tune became a part of everyday life, with memories of walking accompanied by this magnificent music. In summary, the film transcends the campy label, offering a cinematic experience marked by meticulous direction, strong performances, and unforgettable music. Beyond location set pieces, vast crowds and historical allure contribute to its lasting appeal, leaving an impact on the world of classic cinema. Exploring what happens behind the scenes of a movie can reveal some interesting stuff. Like in one case, an actor got a special award for being awesome at acting. Also, there was this voice in the movie that wasn't the original actor's voice. Instead, someone else dubbed over it. And did you know two of the actors were really good friends? They even helped each other out a lot. All these things show how close the people working on the movie were and how they all pitched in to make it great. In the world of cinema, there are stories that go beyond the screen, tales of resilience and dedication that shape the history of film. Take, for instance, a certain actor who, despite battling health issues, continued to grace the silver screen with his presence. During the filming of one project, he faced a frightening moment when he began coughing up blood. Yet, he persisted, showcasing his talent in various roles, including a memorable portrayal of a character recovering from a heart attack in a popular TV series. His commitment to his craft was evident in every performance he delivered. Alongside him, other actors also left their mark on the industry, each with their own unique journey and experiences. From wartime dramas to iconic villainous roles, their stories offer a glimpse into the diverse landscape of filmmaking. These actors, with their unwavering determination and talent, continue to inspire audiences today. In the making of the movie, she and Sidney Chaplin were romantically involved, adding an interesting layer to the atmosphere on set. Their connection behind the scenes sparked public interest due to Hollywood gossip. This was a time of strong emotions and creative energy, where the line between personal and professional life often got blurry. Unexpectedly, she took on a new role as the former stepmother of Robert Cass. Navigating the challenges and joys that come with blending families, she handled the situation with grace and dedication, showing her ability to adapt to change. Amid personal developments, she faced a legal battle with Random House over a disputed book advance. It was a tough challenge, but she faced it head-on with determination. Winning in the courtroom not only secured her financial stability, but also proved her strength in overcoming adversity. The experiences during the making of Land of the Pharaohs, both on and off screen, deeply influenced her. 
These were moments of growth, love, and overcoming obstacles. Throughout it all, she remained focused on achieving success and happiness, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema and beyond. In 1955, a significant replacement took place in the film Land of the Pharaohs. Marilyn Monroe was initially considered for a role in The Girl in the Red Velvet Swing, but Joan Collins stepped in as Monroe at 30 was deemed too old for a character intended to be 17. Joan Collins, known for her role in the film, is also recognized as a great admirer of former Prime Minister Lady Margaret Thatcher. Additionally, there is a common misconception about Dewey Martin, often wrongly reported as the brother of actor Strother Martin. It's important to clarify that the two are not related. These facts add interesting layers to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the film and the personalities involved, shaping the narrative in unexpected ways. Dewey Martin, the ex-stepfather of Nikki Lee Foster, was involved in the making of the film. Jack Hawkins, who passed away in 1973, was remembered at a memorial service in London. Joan Collins, trained as an actress at RAHDA in London at the young age of 15, also played a role in the movie. These actors, each with their own unique backgrounds, contributed to the production, adding depth and talent to the cast. Their involvement in the project brought a diverse range of experiences and skills to the table, enriching the overall quality of the film. Back in 1968, Sheb Woolley received a big award for being a great comedian in country music. The Country Music Association thought he was awesome, and so did his fellow musicians. They really liked how he made people laugh and entertained everyone. Joan Collins' brother, William Collins Jr., born in 1946, has done really well as a real estate agent. People like him because he's good at his job and works hard. He's become a respected person in the real estate business. Speaking of Joan Collins, the famous actress, she became a grandma on October 5, 1998. Her grandchild, Meal Celeste Adam, calls her Dodo. Joan Collins is super happy about this special connection with her grandchild, and it brings them a lot of joy. There's this old movie called Land of the Pharaohs, and Joan Collins was in it. The movie is still remembered today, and people like watching her and the other famous actors in it. In the end, the lives and achievements of people like Sheb Woolley, William Collins Jr., and Joan Collins show how they made a lasting impact in their own ways. They've left behind stories that people still celebrate today. This look into their experiences helps us see how rich and varied their lives were.